surprising. And back in the centre is Storm Dancer. Now Oregon Bronze has taken out wider. Morden's mill the inside and tailed off as Lenny's got. Slick Sam is putting it to the, the Vega as they corner, but was put under pressure, Slick Sam, and is trying to respond and getting an inside run, Burning Magic. Burning Magic slipped through to join Verve de Vega. Slick Sam just started to struggle a little bit. Morden's Mill drove up behind them. Now Burning Magic dropped off and Verve de Vega just bounded away from them. Two and a half, three lengths in front is looking really good. Morden's Mill runs to second. Oregon Bronze moves up outside of Burning Magic in a good battle for third, but Verve de Vega has waltzed home to win it well. Verve de Vega easily by... I've got Sean Casey down here, and uh, Sean, that looked the right form uh, behind Elegant Blast. Justin Warwick's got a high opinion of that galloper, and looked the right form. Yeah, he's, he's um, really tra trained well. He's a really, really nice mover. Just a, uh, yeah, he's a quality horse. Uh, and uh, Sean did the, uh, sorry, Jake rather did the right thing and just popped into the front. And was it the plan to stay one off the fence there? Um, yeah, we had a plan to stay three off for the trip, and uh, um, uh, we had a walk of the track and whatnot. And yeah, we, we thought that was the best pad. And even though it's a tr new track, and uh, yeah, it worked good. Any worry, uh, 1,300 down to 1,200? It didn't seem to be a worry there. Uh, no, not at all. I've just been uh, plonking him in his races where he uh, looks well suited. And, uh, yeah, you could wake him in a 1,400 next start and it wouldn't worry him at all. I was about to ask there. Next week there's an option of a 1,000-metre race or a fortnight's time back to 1,300 metres. Uh, has he got another race in him? Yeah, well, let the feed bin on these legs tell us. But, um, yeah, he's, he's a real special horse. And later on in the day, Sean, you've got stocks and Torino uh, chances? Yeah, Stocks, if, um, obviously the track's going to be pretty cut up and he's got an inside gate, but uh, he, he was an honest run last start and he, he's uh, one on affected ground and uh, he always runs in the finish. Sure, the, uh, the, uh, the stable's absolutely flying. Congratulations, the May continue. Thank you. Got, got down here with me, uh, apprentice rider Jake Casey and uh, Jake, uh, the plan was your dad said to stay one off the fence, or three off the fence, but you ended up one off the fence, and uh, that where is that where the, where the better ground is? Uh, yeah, dad talked to the track manager this morning, and um, he said that was where the better ground was, so I yeah, just rode him out there, and um, he fought on well and uh, won quite easily. How does the ground feel out there? Does it feel like a genuine soft six? Uh, yeah, the, for the first race, I think it's going to get uh, a bit more worn as the day goes through, but um, yeah, see how it ends up. Now, a nice way to start the day. What are your chances for later on? Um, I'm hoping stocks can go well in the six. I think he should go quite well. Do you think he'll handle the ground as well? Yeah, he, he has run on the soft track before, so, um, yeah, hoping for the best. Well done, Jake, and uh, hope it continues for the day for you. Cool, thank you.